Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Line Cut tool. I'm going to go over Visible Only and the various slice modes, such as Cut, Slice, Remove Part A and Remove Part B. I'm also going to go over Single Line, Infinite Cut, also Restrict to Selection, Select Cuts, Connect Cut Edges, Preserve End Gun Curvature, Auto Snap, and Angle Constraint. So let's go to the Line Cut tool. Uh, to do that, we'll go to the model layout. So go to model, and we're going to go to primitives, and I'm going to choose a cube. See so you on your keyboard to make that editable. And we're going to go to either point, line, or polygon, and we can choose the line cut tool in this icon here. We can go to KK on your keyboard. That will also bring it up, and you can right click and go to line cut right here. So we have a few different options. If we look at visible only, and we have that checked, and I'm going to make a cut by clicking, left clicking, and then going through our object, and left clicking again, and then escape, you can see that we have a line that goes through our cube. If I rotate around, you can see that we don't have a cut. What we do have is a virtual line. Cinema 4D behind the scenes puts in a virtual line to connect the uh, end gons. There actually aren't any end gons. We have either cubes or triangles. And that's how Cinema 4D handles that behind the scenes. But there isn't actually a line that goes through behind our object. So I'm going to rotate back and undo. If I have this unchecked and I click and click through and then escape, see we have our visible line, but if I rotate around, you can see that we have a line that goes through all the way through our entire object, even in the, in the back. So I'm going to rotate this around and undo. And now with visible only unchecked, we have a few different options in this dropdown. We have cut that we just went over. We also have split, part, remove part A, and remove part B. Now let's go over split. If I rotate this around and make a cut, say here, and I'm just clicking around and then connecting these options, and then press escape, I'm going to rotate around, you're going to see I have a few cuts that go through our object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these polygons, and this one back here, I think, yeah, there's another one here. Holding down shift, now if I pull this out, looks like I didn't connect, uh, select this one. So if I pull this out, you can see it's disconnected from our object. So let me undo back. And let me try that again, just so you can see how that works. Making a cut, press escape, and you can see where that makes the cut. I think this might be a little bit easier to see since it's only on two sides. I'm going to select these two polygons and I'm going to pull that out. So now that it's removed from this, your main object that you made. It's still one object. We, we still have just one object, but this is disconnected from your model. So I'm going to undo back. KK. Now we went over split. We also have remove part A and remove part B. Now I'm going to go to uh, uh, make a cut all the way through our object. You can see that it has removed a uh, part of our object. Now Cinema 4D doesn't uh, can't determine what is part A and what is part B. But what you can do is reverse the way that you 
make your points, uh, make your cut. So instead of left to right, you can go right to left. And uh, that will also determine your cut. So if you are ever cutting using this method and you get a, you're not getting the result that you want, you can undo back and flip back between the two, these two options, remove part A, remove part B, to get your desired result. Okay, so now we also have, I'm gonna go back to cut, we also have single line. And this is simply, you're able to make a cut and escape and if I go to point mode, it just makes one single line. As before, you have a continuous line. So I'm gonna escape, undo back. Now with single line checked, you also have an option for infinite, line, infinite cut, excuse me. If I have that checked, now if you notice, let me uncheck that, if I make a cut, or make a line, you can see it just makes one line within our object. So if I escape and I make infinite cut, if I click, you can see it cuts through all the way through the object. And I find that to be pretty useful if you're, you're zoomed in and you wanna make a cut all the way through, but still stay within this view you can make your cut, uncheck this, and then start making the cut that you want. So it's just a, a pretty useful for when you're kind of zoomed in on your model. So let me pull back a little bit. Now we also have restrict to selection. If I select a polygon, And I go back to my knife tool. And I'm going to keep a single line on, I think. I'm gonna click and escape. You can see that it only selects, or it only makes a cut within your polygon that you have selected. Now this also works in your edge tool as well or edge mode, excuse me. Let's go back to our knife tool. And you can see that we have our points uh, created, but not a cut through the entire object. So let me undo back. Let's go back to our, to our knife tool. We also have select cuts and I'm gonna turn off restrict to selection, and I'm gonna turn on select cuts. Now what this does, if you're in edge mode, and you make a cut, uh, excuse me, let me go uh, turn off single line, and I make my, my cut, you can see that my edge is still selected if I click off the knife tool and go to like live selection, you can see that we have our edge still selected. And you can see that if I cut off of our object, you can see that that line is still selected. Okay, let me undo back. For connect cut edges, if we have this unchecked and I make a cut, it will only make cuts to the edges. So if I undo back and I enable connect cut edges, I click and make a cut, it will also make uh, cuts to the edges and polygons. So let me undo back. 
Next, I'll take a look at preserve NGON curvature. If this is enabled, what it'll allow you to do is it will preserve the curve of this NGON. So for example, if I click and put in a cut and then escape, you can see it adds in a point to preserve that, that curve. Let me rotate around as you can see from this NGON. Now this is a non-planar NGON, something that has been moved to the point where it's not at a flat plane. Now if I undo back and I disable it and then add in a cut, you can see it just will cut all the way through and it won't preserve that, that curvature. It won't add in any additional points. Okay, so next we'll go to the auto snap. This one is, is pretty um, self-explanatory. When you make a cut and you hover close to an edge, it will snap to that edge or snap to the point. And then next will be angle constraint. If this is enabled and you go to say uh, a, a perspective or excuse me, a orthographic view, what you then can do is constrain this angle as you rotate upwards, in this case, 45 degrees. And you can change this in this value here say 15 degrees, and this will allow, allow you to have a lot more precise control of the angle. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also go to astronomic3d.com to download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far. Thanks for watching.